Air refueling on the E-2D is, is, is critical need to the U.S. Navy. It is allowing the E-2 to have more time on station, which allows them to protect the carrier battle group for a longer period of time. It's really outstanding to see what this means to them. The capability of aerial refueling, it's only limited by all the men and women and the operators that are operating it on a daily basis out in the fleet. They're going to be able to take it and go in, in directions that we never even thought about going. The next five, ten years is really going to be exciting. Normally aircraft are designed with air refueling uh, from day one, and to go back and add it later is quite a challenge. It's not been easy seeing all the engineers and working with them and going through the design and seeing the airplane get modified and actual physical parts be put onto this aircraft and a real probe on there that actually is going to be capable of taking fuel on board. It's truly incredible. Long hours, we had to perform the design for air refueling uh, faster than normal. It was my first time leading a job. It got tough to try to keep up with schedule. Day-to-day -day challenges, there were struggles. We really had to lean on each other. I had all the confidence in the world the Northrop Grumman and Navy team who would execute this mission. First time I knew it was going to come together was when we did our first fit check. We spent a great deal of time on the ground proving out the fueling system. This probe is safe to go behind a tanker aircraft. Uh, all of us were, were texting each other as they were walking to the plane, as they were starting up the engines, as they were taking off, as they were getting into position. We had done it. Seeing the light on the back of the aerial refueling pod turn green, telling me there was good fuel flow going from the tank, and then hearing my co-pilot start calling out the fuel quantity indication increasing, and then the thought rushed into my head of, oh wow, just the feeling about it, not having to worry about gas, and how the fleet and the operator and the Navy, when they get a hold of this, how this is gonna change the way everything operates for the E-2. By adding the area where fueling capability, you can go up and plan to be up there for up to eight hours at a time without having to come back. To be able to be there from the first time the pencil hits the paper to do a drawing to when it's in the air actually flying, executing that design, and it's just outstanding. The Navy Northrop Grumman team is an amazing team. We hit every single milestone. It was an amazing feeling to know that all that hard work had finally come to a culmination. The dedication they had to seeing this thing through, meeting all of our goals. We succeeded the very first time we passed fuel. We have a really tough team. They got it right so many ways. I'm so fortunate to be able to continue to support the warfighter wearing this orange flight suit in North Carolina. This is going to go to the fleet in 2020. This plane will get you home.